Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to extract and upload data to ILM Performance Monitor. I'm going to discuss about data collection software, how to install and launch data collection client tool and how to extract and upload data to ILM Performance Server. Data collection client software is a small lightweight program that can be installed on Windows or Unix. This allows you to collect the data necessary to analyze your database and upload it to the database repository you have registered on the Informatica server. Uh, to get this uh, data collection client software uh, you need to log in to this web UI and uh, the login information uh, will be provided by the Informatica sales representative. You can log into this web URL. Once you log into the URL, you will see the list of uh, customer names or company names. Go to the rightmost and uh, you will be seeing the client software for uh, different platforms like Windows, Linux, Solaris and AAX. You download the one that is needed for your platform and install it in the machine that you need. Once you install the client software, uh, you can uh, go to the installed location and if it is a Windows platform, you are going to see the ilmperfmonitor.exe or I will see uh, the ILM Perf Monitor uh, shell script. So you can launch the respective uh, executable and once you launch it, you will uh, see the client software. So this is how the uh, ILM Performance Monitor client tool will look like. In order to extract and upload the data, you need to first register the database. For regi registering the database, you need to log into the web URL. You will see the register database button. You are going to click on that and uh, give a DB name like uh, prod DB and uh, choose the Oracle version and uh, choose the application type whether it's uh, e-business suite or PeopleSoft and uh, the usage type it's going to be production or development whatever and uh, the date it was analyzed and the number of uh, applications you are going to do and the DB size uh, GB. Once you are done with registering the database uh, you need to launch the client tool for extracting and uh, uploading. For uh, e extracting the data there are four categories. Uh, the four mentioned below are database performance, database size, module profile and uh, SQL monitor. Regarding the database performance, uh, it's going to extract the performance statistics from AWR tables and uh, for database size it's going to extract from storage analytics and uh, regarding the module uh, it's going to uh, get row count data for uh, 22 possible oracle e-business suite modules and regarding the sql monitor it's going to extract data from the sql monitor and uh, sql plan monitor tables to extract and upload the data you need to launch the client tool create a profile name, I have created a profile name and you have the options to extract and upload. Uh, you can do the extract only. And the categories you can choose any of the four uh, below DB performance, DB size, module profile or SQL monitor. And in the extract profile information you are going to give the database information for which you are going to collect the data. And regarding the extract folder, you are going to give a local folder location where the extraction file is going to get created. And uh, regarding the ILM performance monitor hosting service attributes, uh, against the username, you are going to give the username that you try to log into the UI. 
and the database uh, name will be the one that we created uh, in the previous step and the database application type is will be the Oracle e business suite that you are going to extract data from and the DB usage type will be production or non-production and you are going to save the profile once it is saved uh, you can extract and upload uh, one another information that uh, I would like to show you is that uh, we have this offset days uh, if you provide one it's going to extract data for the current day and uh, if you want to extract the history information say suppose you want to uh, extract the historical information and you are going to load it for the first time you can provide zero so that uh, it's going to extract all the information and uh, uh, upload it to the server. So once you have provided all the information, uh, you are going to click extract and upload. So you have the event log in the below where you can see the job status, how the extraction is going and uh, if you go below, it shows that uh, it has uploaded the data so it first creates a zip file and uh, once uh, the file gets uploaded it will rename the file to file underscore uploaded dot zip uh, if you see my extract folder uh, it shows that the file name has been renamed to underscore uploaded which means that the data got uploaded successfully uh, in case you would like to schedule the extract and uh, upload job uh, we provide a script called uh, tdi dc run dot bat or uh, run dot sh uh, you can use a script for scheduling and you are going to provide the profile that we created using the client tool by this way you can uh, schedule the jobs to run at a particular day or time so far i showed you how to download the client software, how to install it and how to extract and upload the data and how to schedule the extract and upload job to run uh, on a particular day or time. Thanks for watching this video.